I've had people jump me a couple times. Uh, gangs of kids jump me. <sighs> if you look at me, you are definitely rolling the dice. It is a 50-50 chance. You're gonna get me or I'm gonna fucking kill you. And definitely one of the two is gonna happen. Fortunately, they don't call me wild for nothing. <sighs> Hey, pizza. There you go. Thank you. Uh -huh. Have a good day. Thanks. area. Our area is pretty much twice as big as every other restaurant around here. You know, we don't have 20 branches, you know, it's not like Domino's. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Thanks. Oh, excuse me, sir. Hi. Right. It's like dispatching for the time and shit, but it's food. So you definitely want their food hot and fresh. I like my pizza hot when I paid $20 for a cheese pie. Oh, it's you? <laughs> did you order from Best Pizza? Yes, I did. What's your name? No, no, you're great. Right. Right, this is... Ugh. Almost. 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 Excuse me. Thanks. Well, I remember as a little kid in the car with my mom and seeing a bike messenger roll by in San Francisco and being like, wow, look at that. And my mom said, Billy, don't you ever do that. Oh, shit. Oh. What? My first 10 years as a bike messenger were in San Francisco. And then the next 20 have been here. My ex left me, we were living in the Northwest. She left me at six months pregnant to have the baby in New York. The baby's gonna be 22 in a couple of weeks. Spent decades working really hard to like scrape up a hundred bucks for a day. And now this gig, this particular gig, 
I do one twenty-fifth of the work for the same money or more, usually more than I made 30 years ago. I've had people they'll wait for me to be the one delivering. Oh, dude, I'm glad it's you. You know, it hit me off. Half of the drivers genuinely don't see me. And the other half are trying to get me. Yep. Because on my way to work, cab driver opened his driver door in the middle of traffic on 2nd Avenue, severed the top of my finger, but the guy at the, in the emergency room was like the premier United States hand doctor, and he actually got it on with the nerves back. Yo, yo, thank you. I delivered a million dollar package more than once, you know. We used to deliver millions, plural, in bonds and checks and shit, you know. Then we didn't get paid anything more. It was a regular fucking messenger job, you know? I lived in this house right here for six years. Yeah, dude, it's Bill. I'm trying to get a hold of you, man. I guess it's not working. It's like the farther away, the shittier the tips are. Oh, this is spectacular, kind of, I think. Eh, I think I did okay. I didn't really make it that much today. I'm so beat. Plus, I gotta call my friend and make sure it's okay if I stay there tonight. Fucking houselessness sucks, too. I'm a 50-year-old man, I should have a crib. You know, and I can see that being unsettling to people that, you know, aren't used to that shit. And unfortunately, and fortunately, I am used to it, so... I'll definitely get, it, get through it. Because I have to, because I have no choice. When I was a little kid, I was very uh, music and art oriented. I did well in those, you know. I ended up going to the San Francisco Conservatory for my college. Obviously fucked that off, delivering things now for 30 years. People are like, oh, Bill, you gotta get off that bike. You gotta go back to doing what you're doing. I'm like, you know, I gotta do what I'm doing, dude. I mean, or or they're right, or they weren't, or whatever. But it's something I enjoy. It's taken me decades to really admit to realizing that I enjoy it. You know, I enjoy this. The day I can no longer ride a bike better be the day I'm fucking dead. <laughs>